Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, all glory be to God. We are together once again. I pray that you all are doing well and blessed and I missed you. I truly have. It's been many, many days since the last video and I hope that you have been inspired. I hope that you have felt the love of the Lord within you. I hope that you, that each one of you have found joy in, in the day in some way. Um, and if not, please reach out to one of us and we will share God's joy and God's love with you and lift you up. Um, amen. It's, it's, it's a very interesting time. Okay, I received this word of prayer, for prayer, and to offer prayer. And I'll, I'll, I'll clear that up in a second. Um, but I received it when it was still kind of chaotic. So I had to kind of settle myself down to really understand what he was saying. I mean, I, I, I understood the message, but it's like I was in a tilt -a world and I got this, you know, awesome message and I had to steady myself as a human being before I could share this message, I had to get off the tilt world, <laughs> which they're a lot of fun, and sometimes you stay on a bit too long. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes in, in your stomach can turn and it's not so fun anymore. Um, so, anyway, okay, I, I don't want to make this long. It's not a long message, and actually, it's very, very concise. The, the message I received was there are going to be many of us that are called to pray and there's going to be only a few of us that are called to minister and I, I wish I could help you um, in your journey to figure out if you are a part of the group to minister or if you are a part of the group to pray but I do know that the ministering group it's not to the masses, it's only to the few. And I feel like the ones who feel, who are blessed to minister to someone, it's to someone who's either on the fence or who have never received the glory of God in any kind of way. I mean, not received it in the sense of, but be aware that they're receiving the gift because we all receive gifts and blessings, but we have to be aware, we have to be open to it and there's some who aren't or they don't even understand the process so it's only one or two um, uh, that you will minister to and it's, it's such a small group um, and then the ones that who are called to prayer that feels a, like a larger group and it feels like um, like I, I've heard people call prayer warriors or prayer saints, um, whatever you want to put yourself in, uh, call yourself, it doesn't matter, prayer team. Um, but you all, it's going, it's like a, um, a blanket prayer for the prayer warriors so that they have the strength because it's not easy to walk up to someone and say, I see, you know, you can feel that they're in distress and to say, may I pray with you? It's a part of who I am and a part of my beliefs and I believe in that the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and, and, and all that comes with that and I would love to pray with you. It's not easy to do. And actually, I had a moment where I did that with a very young girl and her very young brother. I want to say probably 14 and 10. Um, they were somewhere around there and but I have to say I was once I was once I asked if I could pray with her there was a release and everything came so organically everything came naturally that I said and that I did and she received it but she didn't know where I was even coming from this was all new to her so um, okay so, okay so for the ones who are prayer um you're going to be uh, sorry sorry i got to get my daughter to school um for the ones who are prayer warriors um uh thank you for for you'll feel it within you you are the ones who are going to be sending 
out this blanket prayer of protection and love and mercy for the ones who are going to be out there uh, and for the ones who are ministering these prayers to individuals you will know who you need to and it's probably just one person maybe two but but it's just a very small thing but it's a huge thing because we are gathering the last saints. This is the, the calm where we're gathering God's sheep. The, the, the sheep are coming home and we have to make sure we get them all, even the ones who have strayed. So, so okay, I'm going to leave you with this. I love you all and God loves you so much more. I don't have any Bible verses. I'm sure there's a thousand out there that would back this up. It's not about that. It's about looking beside, inside yourself and, and seeing if you are. Oh, and for the ones who don't feel a calling either way, it's okay. That means you've done what you need to, it, what's done is done. And the ones who are called to do still have work to do. But the ones who don't feel a calling, a compulsion to either minister or pray, it's okay. It, it, you, you, you're, I, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say it without sounding um, awkward. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> anyway, but the ones who don't feel a calling either way is because what you've done is what God wanted you to do. All right. I'm going to let you go. I love you all. Please take care. And please, please carry the love of Jesus with you because he loves you and so do I. God bless. See you soon.